This is Poland, a country you know a lot and a country that I already made two videos about it. But you know it, home of the Poles, Pierogi, Wing Hussars, and a nation carved by many empires yet still surviving and not yet lost. This is Hungary, the country home of the Magyars with a difficult language to learn, thermal baths, the guy who first created the Rubik's Cube, and the nation strips 70% of its territory at the end of the World War I. Despite not being immediate neighbors, these two countries absolutely love each other and they seem to have one of the best friendships and brotherhood not only in Europe but also in the world. It's very noticeable from YouTube comments to current politics and historical events. But this gives us a question. Why do Poland and Hungary love each other? Before we answer it, take note that Poland Ball is upside down because that's what Poland Ball on the internet dictated it to be. And it's based on the joke being, everything in Poland is upside down. Well, the number one reason is history. First of all, Poland and Hungary do not seem very similar at first glance. Polish people are Slavs, while the Hungarians, or Magyars, are Finno-Ugric peoples whose language is more related to Finnish and Estonian. They don't even share a common border as they are divided by Slovakia. Speaking of Slovakia, this country along with the Czech Republic or Czechia, Poland and Hungary forms the Visegrad group, which is an alliance of four countries in Central Europe. However, the bond between Poland and Hungary remains more significant than their bonds with the other two countries. But why? As mentioned, history plays a big role in their brotherhood. The respective kingdoms of Poland and Hungary date back to the Middle Ages. The Polish and Hungarian houses of nobility, such as the Piast dynasty or the House of Arpad, often intermarried with each other. Louis the Great was the king of Hungary from 1342 and King of Poland from 1370 until his death in 1382. This shows that both countries share the same monarchs at some point. They also shared the common border at that time, and they treated each other with the utmost respect. They also worked together to fight off the Mongol raids that were ravaging Europe. The impressive thing is, the union was actually quite peaceful. In the 15th century, the two countries briefly shared the same king again. Poland's Władysław III of Varna, who perished fighting the Turks at Varna, Bulgaria. Speaking of Turks, Poles and Hungarians fought together against the Ottoman Empire's expansion. In the 16th century, Poland elected the Hungarian nobleman Stephen Bakary as its king, who is regarded as one of the Poland's greatest rulers. You can easily see why Poles and Hungarians have an unbreakable brotherhood from a historical standpoint. Despite not being similar at first glance, their nobility shared a lot of things. From a similar lifestyle to military tactics, Poland and Hungary also suffered together and had common goals. During the Ottoman and Habsburg domination of Hungary, many Hungarian nobles took refuge in Poland. To gain power and then to turn back to start again to fight for their nation. In the Hungarian Revolution of 1848, Polish General Josef Bem was the only commander who, during the Austrian offensive from the winter of 1848, could defeat the enemy forces and liberate Transylvania from their rule. He became a national hero of both Hungary and Poland. During the early 20th century, European politics were messy, and both countries' situations shifted a lot. In 1900, Poland didn't exist, and Hungary was in a dual monarchy with Austria. Then just after World War I, Polish independence was restored, but Hungary suffered a 70% territorial loss as a consequence of being on the losing side in the Treaty of Trianon. Oh yeah! I said Trianon because it's a disaster to Hungarians. Also, the creation of a Czechoslovak state divided Hungary and Poland, no longer bordering each other. But that doesn't matter to their friendship, it remained strong as ever. 
During the Polish-Soviet War of 1919-1921, Hungary offered to send 30,000 cavalry to Poland's aid. However, the Czechoslovak government refused to allow them passage through the demilitarized zone. Poland then never ratified the Treaty of Trianon and was never published in Poland's Journal of Laws. During this period, Poland and Hungary shared another thing in common. They had problems with Czechoslovakia. Anti-Czech feelings led Poland and Hungary to support Hitler during the Munich Crisis of 1938. They restored their common border when Carpathian and Ruthenia was returned to Hungary, but they wouldn't enjoy it for long. Things became complicated when Germany invaded Poland in 1939 and Hungary joined the Axis powers. But in any circumstances, Hungary never attacked Poland and they never allowed Germany to use its territory for their Polish conquest. Unfortunately, Hungary couldn't do more than help the Polish military and government escape the invasion. But hey, it's much better than literally betraying you after years of brotherhood and friendship. But of course, that isn't just that. The Hungarians have assisted and supported the Polish fighters during the Warsaw Uprising of 1944 and during the Hungarian Revolution of 1956. Poles demonstrated their support for the Hungarians with blading blood. Yes, they will do everything to help each other in every way possible. Today, their friendship is as good as the old days. On March 12, 2007, Hungary's parliament declared March 23 the day of Hungarian-Polish friendship with 324 votes in favor, none opposed, no abstentions. Four days later, the Polish parliament declared March 23 the day of Polish-Hungarian friendship by acclamation. Then, the Hungarian parliament on the 29th of February 2016 adopted a decree in a unanimous vote that declared 2016 a year of Hungarian-Polish solidarity. Their governments get along famously well as their people do. Polish and Hungarian high-ranking officials usually meet several times a week. The leaders of the two countries have been holding regular secret meetings to improve bilateral relations and work more closely together. As both members of the European Union, they've got some problems with it too, and they work together for things to be in their favor. Any political pressure that is proposed by Brussels against these two countries, like sanctions, will be met with an immediate veto from these countries. And speaking of veto, both countries actually vetoed the EU budget plan last 2020, which forced Brussels to reassess it. So yeah, when you've got the people and the government of both countries to form a lasting brotherhood, it just works in these countries and it still persists up to this day. To sum it up, Poland and Hungary love each other because of shared history, common interests, cultural similarities, and facing external complications which brought them together. This is an unlikely sight in the middle of Europe. You'll usually see countries that hated each other like France and England, Germany and Russia, Serbia and Croatia, and many more, at least historically. Poland is a nation that has suffered so much during its history like being partitioned twice and betrayed multiple times. But Hungary is always there for its cause, despite having its own set of problems that both countries work up for their unbreakable brotherhood. Their friendship and brotherhood is a shining jewel in the middle of Europe. It is unmatchable, and they're more loyal to each other than any other relationship I've ever seen. There's even a saying, two brothers, good for cyber and for glass. It is likely that both countries will continue loving each other for the better of you. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe for more country neighbors. Oh yeah! and they love their languages.